In One Piece, bounties are more than just a power scaling system. They determine how much of a threat someone is to the world government. After everything the Straw Hats have done, they are finally becoming the world-renowned pirate group. They were always meant to be, but they won't stop there. When the Wano arc finishes and the world finds out that the Straw Hats were instrumental in defeating two emperors of the sea, their bounties are sure to skyrocket. Depending on how big news Morgan spins the information, they could end up being the one of the most wanted pirate groups in the world, replacing the Beast and Big Mom pirates. The question is, what will their bounties be? After defeating Doflamingo and the Dress Rosa arc, every Straw Hats bounty was raised by at least 50 million regardless of their feats. Since the Straw Hats helped defeat two Emperor's crews, each of those show net them a 100 million berries increase for a total bump up of 200 million. But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. Jinbei, 688 million berries. The newest straw hat got to Wano late, but he has certainly done his fair share by defeating who's who and helping put out the fire in the castle. This should net him a solid 250 million berries increase. With One Piece entering his end game, these bounty increases are likely to be some of the last in the series. The Straw Hats only have a few more chances to stir up trouble before they reach Laugh Tail and turn the world upside down. Brook, 283 million berries. The Straw Hats musician has not played a major part in the raid. He was with Robin when she defeated Black Maria, but he left the fight to her while he cleared out the minions. He deserved a bounty increase after his stellar performance in the Whole Cake Island arc but a 200 million berries increase is certain to make his eyes light up, even though he doesn't have any. Frankie, 344 million berries. Frankie was another straw hat who took down a Toby Rappo member. This will give him a 250 million berries increase which, unfortunately for him, still puts him below Gadu Salt. The real question, however, is whether Frankie gets a new picture or if General Frankie remains on the wanted poster. Robin, 630 million berries. Behind Luffy, Robin might be the most dangerous person to the world government. The efforts of both CP0 and the Big Mom Beast Pirate Alliance to capture her have clearly proven her value. All this, plus the fact that she defeated a member of the Toby Rapo, means her bounty is likely to skyrocket, this time by 500 million. Chopper. 200 berries. As much as Chopper deserves to be given a real bounty for once, it's hard to see Oda not continuing the trend of lowballing the poor reindeer. He has always increased by 50 berries each time, but two emperors are going to fall, so his bounty could double. Not that this will help cheer him up after he sees the number. Sanji, 1 billion 330 million berries. Like Zoro, Sanji defeated an all-star of the Beast Pirates. Queen was another Billion Berries man, so this will likely notch the chef a Billion Berries bonus. However, he's likely to end up back below Zoro's bounty, if only to continue the gag of their continuous competition of who is stronger. Usopp, 400 million berries Usopp hasn't had a significant event during the raid on the next Shima that would merit a huge bounty increase. Unless something changes, he would likely get a base increase just for being a straw hat. Nami, 266 million berries. Nami's biggest contribution to the raid so far has been taking down Ulti. Although Big Mom did most of the damage, Nami dealt the final blow, and that's usually what matters when it comes to bounty increases. On top of the 200 million, she will get an extra 50 million berries increase for beating a member of the Tabi Rapo. Zoro, 1 billion 340 million berries. Zoro has beaten many opponents on Wano, and he even left a scar on Kaido during his fight on the rooftop. But the defining moment of the arc for him was beating King. When Luffy defeated Katakuri, Big Mom's right-hand man, on Whole Cake Island, his bounty increased by 1 billion. 
Although it's possible that some of that increase came from defeat in Cracker, Katakori was the second in command of an Emperor of the Sea. Now that Zoro has defeated Kaido's right hand, it's likely that his bounty will go up a similar amount, or maybe just a little more to put him back over a certain chef. Luffy, 4 billion 56 million berries. Luffy is already a 1 billion 500 million berries man, but fighting Big Mom and defeating the world's strongest creature Kaido, whenever it happens, should send his bounty into the stratosphere. Kaido himself has a bounty of 4 billion 611 million 100 thousand berries, but it's unlikely that Luffy will be able to surpass that number, as he did have plenty of help in the battle and was knocked out multiple times. Of course, these details could become skewed by Big News Morgans, and the paper could lie about it being a one versus one, which would definitely add more to his bounty. However, the real X factor in Luffy's bounty increase will be whether or not the world government finds out that Luffy has awakened his fruit. They already tried to assassinate him to prevent this from happening, but as of right now, the final CP0 agent on Onigashima has yet to report that the attempt failed. If and when they find out, it's possible that Luffy will become the most wanted man alive, surpassing even his father. The lowest Luffy's bounty would be, by Wano's and his 4 billion. Eh? Yeah.